We keep finding thrift store canvases, so Dave keeps cranking out new work. This is number 50. Today we're working off of a black canvas, which is a little different than usual. And of course we have our favorite mascot. Gracie's here. She's admiring her favorite painter. I'm trying to use a dry brush on this painting instead of a heavily loaded wet brush. It's interesting how the black underpainting kind of affects the tonality of the new paint going on. This painting is going to be uh, squares like Stanley Whitney at the Albright Knox Art Gallery. I was thinking the same thing, Dave, but I just didn't want to say it. It's going to look like a city building. A very colorful one indeed, Dave. I haven't seen that kind of construction before. Neither have I, Tom, but color is very important to this painting. Each layer of color is building up to the final design. The dry brush technique allows me a lot of latitude in creating different tonalities. I'm hoping this painting will have an innocent quality, sort of like Paul Clay when he used blocks. Paul Clay is such a great artist. He has such a naive, almost childlike quality to his paintings. I don't think anybody can accuse you of being pretentious, Dave. Your work is so free and easy. Thanks, Tom. I like how we flip this painting. Uh, it gives it a different perspective. If you like what you're seeing in Dave's work, I'd like you to subscribe to the channel. The shapes and colors seem to be changing quite a bit in this painting, Dave. Painting takes me where it wants it to go. At this point, I'm adding some gestural marks using black. The black marks are defining the squares, but I'm also putting in some blue to put some extra color into it. Hope you enjoyed the painting. We'll see you soon.